So the, the topic of today's video is using the Sibelius Transformations menu. This is in the Note Input menu in a submenu called Transformations, in a further submenu called More, all the way down to the bottom called Transform Scale, which is a lot to remember, I know. But if you just type the word transform into the search bar, you should be able to get to it pretty quickly as it comes up as the second option. So I'm going to select this theme from the Arvo Pert Cantus piece we've been studying. As you know, that's in A natural minor or Aeolian mode. And I'm going to pop into transform scale. Now Sibelius thinks that this is in C major, which admittedly it sort of is, because of the C key signature. So the first thing you have to tell it is what actually is, which is A minor, and then you have to tell it what you want it to go to. So in this case I'm going to choose A Dorian. And you'll no notice over here on the right hand side, it will tell you what's going to happen. So you'll notice there's no changes until we get to F, and then all the Fs are going to change to F sharps, because Dorian is La to La plus Fi, that would be A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A. I say OK. And you'll notice every note F has got a sharp on it. That's because A Dorian is the second mode of G major. So if you have a look in here, there's multiple possibilities. I'm currently in the scale of A Dorian, but I could change that to, the, to any number of things, but I'm going to change it to, for example, A major. And of course that'll add two more sharps. The G's will go sharp and so will the C's, F, C, and G sharp. Why do I want to do this? Because it sounds really cool. Have a listen. That sounds very different, doesn't it, to the way it sounded when it was in natural minor. So this is just a way of making your composition sort of more interesting. So for the example today, I took the first four pages of the Arvo Pert piece that we've been studying, and luckily I was able to get a copy of it and put it into Sibelius. And this is just the piece itself. There's the opening tubular bell sound. And this is just the piece in A natural minor. There's the piece as we heard it on YouTube, more or less. And I made a number of different versions just to show what things will sound like. Like an A Dorian version of the whole piece, an A major version of the whole piece, an A minor pentatonic version of the whole piece. Let's just listen to the A major one for a minute. And I think you'll agree that it adds an extra flavour or emotion to the piece. Because there are so many notes of the scale all stacked up together, you get a sensation of a major seventh chord. A, C sharp, E, G sharp, and then you've got Bs and Ds and F sharps as well. So it gives a sort of bright sound, doesn't it? Just for fun I did a version where I started in Aeolian, then the next section I put into A major, and then I chose some other options from the drop-down menu, the whole tone scale, which I don't think we've done in 12 music so far, and then I went to this whole half scale, which we certainly haven't done, but it was just a menu option, I was just playing around and experimenting, and then at the end of the piece I went back into the original mode, which was A Aeolian. This is only the first four pages, but just have a listen to this one, and see that you can hear when the modes changes. When we were doing it in class, I was getting the students to open and close their hands when they could hear the change of mode. But I'll tell you in here. So we're starting off in A Aeolian, just the way it sounded originally. Now we've transformed into A major, which sounds still quite pretty, 
but quite different. It's a little bit more dissonant perhaps than A natural minor. A bit more um, anguished, a little bit more sad, tenser. And here you can hear a real change of mood. It's quite dissonant. This is the whole tone scale. Now we're going into this half whole scale, which really sounds quite dramatic and intense, doesn't it? Especially combined with the increased dynamics, this sort of more dissonant scale really starting to freak me out, hey? But now we've gone back into natural minor. See, there's no sharps or flats here. Yeah? It's starting to sound more consonant. And so on. Yeah, so it was just an example of the effect. Now, I probably should have done this more precisely so that people could actually see in some sort of colour coding manner where the changes were, but I was using it in class as an oral um, test. So if you really zoom out, you can sort of see that there's green aeolian at the start, sort of this orange bit that was major, hot pink was whole tone, purple was the half whole scale, which we haven't actually learnt, and then we went back into green, which was aeolian. It gave this opening section a very different flavor rather than the original piece by Pet, which stayed in aeolian mode from beginning to end and it was three times longer than this so i'm not suggesting that you do this to someone else's work that would have been last year's assignment this year you have to create the original material yourself but what i was suggesting was that you might work in c major or a minor because that's a simple set of notes and chords and keys to sort of understand but then if you're finding that your work's just too boring and that you need a little bit more drama you could consider what it sounded like in modal transformation and you might be able to create a series of transformations that create a greater sense of drama and tension than you previously had. Hopefully you might consider incorporating some concepts around modal transformation into your composition work if you're considering the style of min minimalism.